Welcome back. Our area is no stranger to the Toys for Tots program hosted by the Marine Corps. The goal of the program, which has been operated for 72 years by the U.S. Marine Corps Reserve, is that no child gets left behind on Christmas morning. Since 1947, more than 258 million children have been assisted by the Toys for Tots program, which operates in all 50 states, Washington, D.C., Puerto Rico, Guam, and the U.S. Virgin Islands. Recently, however, the Marines who run the Quantico program, which serves about 90,000 children in 16 counties, had a dilemma. Where could they find an empty warehouse to set up operations? Fortunately, they found a place. Toys for Tots will set up headquarters in a building off US 17 in Stafford County at 736 Warrington Road. Locals will remember that it was formerly a food lion and then it was a Weiss supermarket. Monday, workers with the Quantico Toys for Tots started getting the old grocery store ready for accepting unwrapped dolls and race cars, games and balls. The property is owned by MTH Management Corporation, whose owner, Mike Hall, is letting the Marines use the space for free. Wow. And generously offered whatever they needed. While it still seems too early to be thinking about Christmas, Toys for not. Tots, oh, <laughs> right. Um, they're getting ready to receive your request. Uh, last year, they had over 100 collection points, and that was located in many of the businesses. Through November, the Quantico Toys for Tots warehouse in Stafford will be open from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m., Monday through Friday, except for Thanksgiving weekend. It ramps up efforts in December when it's open seven days a week from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Its last day for collection is December 12th. If you'd like more information, visit quantico-va.toysfortots.org. Look for their Facebook page or give them an old-fashioned phone call at 540-310-8768. Sunday, October 21st at 7.30 p.m. was a chance to see democracy in action. CVTV, in collaboration with Potomac Local, sponsored two candidates' deb debates this year. These included the 28th House of Delegates seat and the 28th State Senate race. Yes, they both have the same number, but that's just a coincidence. Each seat covers a major portion of our viewing area. The 28th House of Delegates contest is between Republican Paul Mildy, a former member of the Stafford County Board of Supervisors, and the Democrat, the Reverend Josh Cole. Both have run for this seat before. Mildy saw the GOP nomination in 2017, but lost to current delegate Bob Thomas. However, earlier this year, Mildy defeated Thomas for the GOP nomination and is now on the ballot in the general election as the Republican nominee. Josh Cole was the Democratic nominee for the seat in 2017 and lost by only 75 votes to Thomas. This is a hard-fought campaign between two experienced candidates, and we were pleased to have both participating in the CVTV debate. Our other debate was for the 28th state Senate race. This contest pits 12-year incumbent state Senator Republican Richard Stewart against local uh, Democrat attorney Kassam Rashid. This too was a, has been a hard-fought race and a hard-fought campaign. And we enjoyed hearing from both of these candidates. Mr. Uriah Kaiser, editor and publisher of Potomac Local, was our guest reporter. And I asked questions as well. Deirdre was the moderator. She did a great job. It was a chance to see political actions, political systems at work. While it aired on Sunday, 21 October at 7.30 p.m., we will continue to repeat the program on this station. Well, Kara, what's the word for us in the forecast this weekend? Colucci with CVTV Weekend Weather, and here's your update for this weekend, the last weekend in October. I know there's lots of events going on in and around the Fredericksburg area, so make sure you check them out. All right, our forecast for this weekend on Friday, we're looking at highs near 72 degrees. Kind of a cloudy day, but we should be holding off on the rain until probably Saturday night. On Saturday, we are looking at highs in the upper 60s to the potential low 70s. However, rain is going to start to move in late Saturday night, possibly after midnight. You never know. It is Fredericksburg. 
Sunday does look like it may be a washout for our area though. So if you are planning to do something fun, you might want to do it Friday or Saturday. Sunday we are looking at highs near 77 degrees, but we should have rain on and off throughout the day to include some thunderstorms later in the evening. That is the weather this weekend, and if you get an opportunity, you may even want to check out the Fairy Farm Skeletons there on Pendleton Road in Fredericksburg. They change up that display every day during the week for the students at Fairy Farm Elementary. They've done an amazing job, and you definitely want to check them out. I'm Kara Colucci with CVTV Weekend Weather. Make it a great week.